Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to read the fast and easy way with extensive reading. Is reading in your target language hard for you? Do you have to stop and look up words every other second? If so, then you're probably avoiding reading because it can be hard when you're going about it the wrong way. And it's a shame because reading improves your language overall and by avoiding it, you're slowing down your own progress. Luckily, there is an easy way to master reading, even if you're a beginner and even if you've struggled before. And today, you'll discover two things you need to make reading easy, all about the extensive reading learning strategy, and six ways to practice reading with our program. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Learning to Cook Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn all the must-know cooking phrases with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. You'll master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture eBook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, how to talk about your weekend. If you can't talk about your weekend plans, then this one minute lesson will get you speaking. You'll learn the must know phrases like sleep, hang out with friends, play video games, and much more. Fourth, how to count from zero to 100. Do you know how to count from one to 10? How about to 100? This quick word list will get you mastering numbers in just a minute. Fifth, the 50 most common verbs all beginners must know. Do you know all of these verbs? If not, this lesson will drill the 50 most common verbs into your head. Just use the free audio slideshow tool inside. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to read the fast and easy way with extensive reading. You've probably tried reading a book in your target language before. Maybe you bought a book and thought you could learn from it, and chances are it's now sitting on a shelf. What happened? Most likely there were too many words you didn't know. You had to stop and look each one up, and you gave up. Reading in a new language can be tough if you approach it the wrong way. But it's a powerful skill that you shouldn't ignore, because reading spills into other areas as well. You'll learn words and grammar patterns much easier through reading than anything else. And this will improve your speaking skills as well. Also, reading is something you can do without a teacher, on your own time and on your own terms, which makes it an easy skill to practice. So how can you make it easier? There are two tricks to making reading easier. First, the two things you need to make reading easy. First, you need level appropriate reading material. The books you struggled with were likely not for your level. And if you had something for your level, you wouldn't need a dictionary every five seconds. Where can you get level appropriate reading material? Just look for our extensive reading books on the site. And by the way, extensive reading is a learning strategy where you read as many level appropriate books as possible, skip over words you don't know and keep on reading. The goal here is quantity. You improve because of all the books you go through. And these books are super simple. At the beginner levels, just a line or two per page. And if this sounds like a book for elementary school kids, then you're right. If you're brand new to reading, then that's your level. At intermediate and advanced levels, they're much more complex with stories and many words on the pages. But if you're brand new and if you've just learned the alphabet, then the absolute beginner ones are perfect for you. Now, what about the second trick? The second trick is you need to use text and audio at the same time. Why? So you can listen and follow along. You know how to pronounce every word. And on your second read through, you'll be able to read it all without the audio because you've already heard the words. The good news is all of our reading lessons on our site give you the text and audio so you can easily read, follow along and hear the pronunciation. So now that you know the two tricks, you still have to implement them, right? Well, here's how. Part two, 
six ways to practice reading with our program. Remember, you need two things. One, level appropriate reading material, and two, a combination of text and audio, so you can listen and follow along. You get that with all of our lessons on the site, including our extensive reading books. So, the first way to improve your reading is, read the extensive reading books that are appropriate for your level. You'll find them in your lesson library. We have books for all levels, absolute beginner, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. The goal of extensive reading is to read as much as possible, skip words you don't know, and keep going. To make it even easier, these books come with audio and line-by-line -line breakdown and translations, so you can follow along with the audio and never miss a word. By the way, you can print these books out, so you can keep them and review them at any time. The second way is, read the line-by-line -line dialogues for every lesson you take. The line-by-line -line dialogue is just a breakdown of the lesson conversation, where you get the translation, transliteration, and audio for each of the lines. With this tool, you can just read the text or combine text and audio and listen and follow along. The third way is print out the lesson notes and review the lesson dialogue. Having the printed physical material is a lot easier than logging in and looking for the notes for a certain lesson, but you can always read the lesson notes on the site too. The fourth way to practice reading is, if you're learning a language that requires romanization, like Japanese, Hebrew, or Korean, and if you're a lower level, then read the romanized version. Yes, it's a bit of a crutch, but you can easily see how the words are written and pronounced. Then, switch over to the target language and reread. You can do this with all of our lessons with the dialogue tool. The fifth way, ask your Premium Plus teacher for reading assignments, and you'll get these weekly. One helpful trick is to record yourself reading out loud and send that to your teacher. They'll correct your pronunciation and provide feedback. The sixth way is the most important one and will give you the biggest bang for your buck. The sixth tactic is reread again and again. Whether you're using our extensive reading books, the dialogue, or anything else, reading once is not enough. Coming back to reread is how you start reading faster. It's how you remember all those words for good, and it's how you start understanding everything at a glance. So go ahead and visit our site and look for the extensive reading books. You can access them for free with a free lifetime account. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to speak more with your personal language learning profile. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye!